Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to do an activity to practice our spelling words and phonics for first grade journeys lesson one. And this is numbers spelling words one through 12. And it is for the informational text, What is a Pal? Written and photographed by Nina Cruz. So you will need a pencil and a piece of paper to write your numbers one through 212. So what you need for this lesson, unless you have a worksheet from your teacher, which I'll show you on the next slide, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. So if you need to push pause and get your pencil and piece of paper, write your numbers one through 12, and then your challenge at the end of our lesson is to rainbow write. So if you have crayons or you just have a pencil, you can rainbow write your spelling words three more times. One, two, three. So if you got a worksheet from your teacher that looks like this, what you will need you will need three crayons, three different color crayons. The rainbow right and match the words below. So here's our learning target. So repeat after me. I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short A as in apple, a, a, apple, and consonants N, 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 and D, 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 D. How will you know you're successful at correctly reading and spelling first grade words with short A, 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 a as in apple, and consonants N and D? Well, here's our success criteria, our roadmap for success. It's like climbing a learning mountain and our goal is to get to the top. So I will read and say each word. I will spell and write each word, numbers one through 12. And I will do my best. And I will, at the end of the lesson, here's your challenge, write each word three more times, either with your pencil or with three different crayons. So you can rainbow write. All right, let's get started. Words with short A, as in ah, ah, apple, say it, ah, ah, apple, and ah, ah, astronaut, that's the person that flies in space, and the consonants N, n, n nest, and D. Dog. Here's our first word. Number one, what do you think it is? It says, I blank happy, I blank a pal, I blank sad. What makes sense in those sentences? Am, am, say it, am, stretch it out, am. Shrink it, am, a-m, but word am. If I go too fast, push pause and write your word on number one. Number two, what do we see? Number two, what do you think it is? Dam, it's a beaver dam or a water dam. It's not a bad word. It's an actual thing, water, dam, beaver, dam. Stretch it out, dam, shrink it, dam, D-A-M. It stops the water from flowing. That's the dam. All right, number three, blank the door. The ball is blank the door or blank the park. What's number three? At, stretch it out, at, 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 
at, A-T, at. Number three is at. Number four, what do you think it is? It is the past tense for sit, which is sat. 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 I stretched it, so stretch it again with me. Sat. Sat. At and sat rhyme. S-A-T. So if you sat down, that means you did it in the past. It's past tense. Sat. Number five. These are all examples of what or who. Number five. Man. Stretch it. Man. Shrink it. Man. Stretch it. Man. Shrink it. Man. I'm pulling my imaginary rubber band or my imaginary slinky to stretch that out. Man. Shrink it. Man. M-A-N. And the next word is going to rhyme with man. Number six. He is a Seahawk blank. And she is a Seahawk blank. Oh, and there's something to make you cool to wave in front of your face. What are those things? Fan. F-A-N. Fan. Man, they rhyme. Stretch it out. Fan. Shrink it. Fan. Again, stretch it out. Fan. Shrink it. Fan. Spell it. F-A-N. Number seven. Dan. I'm not sure why I have fan here, but Dan. Stretch it. Dan, shrink it, Dan, stretch it, Dan, shrink it, Dan. Oh, this is why. Dan ran to the fan. See, Dan ran to the fan. D-A-N. And again, if you need to stop, push pause to catch up. Number eight. These are all examples of what? It rhymes with Dan and fan and man. Number eight, do you know what it is? Pan, stretch it, pan, shrink it, pan. Again, stretch it, pan, shrink it, pan. P-A-N. And if you need to pause it, and I'm going too fast, do so, and then push play when you're done writing P-A-N, pan, number eight. Number nine. These are all examples of who. Dad, stretch it, dad. Shrink it, dad. Stretch it, dad. Shrink it, dad, D-A-D. D-A-D. Number nine is dad. Number 10. Rhymes with dad. These are all examples of what? Number 10. Pad. Stretch it. Pad. Shrink it. Pad. Pad and dad rhyme. Stretch it. Pad. Shrink it. Pad. P-A-D, a lily pad or a writing pad. A lily pad is in a pond, and a writing pad is paper that you write on. Pad. Number 11. Who is that famous character? Number 11. Sam. That's Sam I am. Sam from Dr. Seuss. Stretch it. Sam. Shrink it. Sam. Again, stretch it. Sam. Shrink it. Sam. S-A-M. S-A-M. Sam from Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Oh, here's Sam again, but it's pointing to something he's holding. And it rhymes with Sam. Number 12. Number 12. Sam is holding 
ham, green ham, stretch it, ham, shrink it, ham, stretch it, ham, shrink it, ham, H-A-M, H-A-M, ham and Sam, rhyme. All right, on the top of your paper, I want you to reflect. It says time to reflect in the corner here. And you see Pooh and Tigger, they're looking at their reflection. They're looking at themselves. And there's the emoji down here thinking, how did you do in this lesson today? Our learning target was I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short A, a, a apple, and consonants N and D. Mm, mm, mm. D, d, d. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I was able to read, write, and spell all the words easily and correctly. Three, I was able to read, write, and spell most of the words correctly, which means it was pretty easy, but I still needed a little help. Four, would you give yourself a two? I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or one, I was not able to read, write, and spell any of the words correctly. If you need to, go back and re-watch re this video to uh, make sure all your words are spelled correctly. But my challenge to you now is to rainbow write each of the words 1 through 12 three times each with your favorite colors or with your pencil. And thank you for doing this spelling lesson with me. If you want more practice, look for my... Um, next spelling video for the same lesson for numbers 13 through um, uh, 24. And thank you again and have a great day.